Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out this week's latest dev channel build to the insiders in the dev channel, build 23595. And if you are interested, just to go through a couple of features that Microsoft is working on in the dev channel. Now, first of all, the two first changes are regarding Copilot, the Copilot for Windows 11's desktop, where first of all, they are making a change where the Copilot icon is shown on the right side of the system tray we're currently in the stable it's found uh, in the center of the taskbar to make the entry point to copilot more clear and easily accessible by being closer microsoft says to where the copilot pane opens so it's moved now in the dev channel for this week from the center of the taskbar to the right side of the system tray now as part of this change um, they have defaulted the show the desktop behavior for the far right corner of the taskbar to off and obviously you can re-enable re that setting um, under settings uh, for the show the desktop which as many of you may know um, if you have it turned on i don't if you move your mouse to the right hand corner of the system tray in the taskbar it then defaults back to your desktop show the desktop so this is also a change that we are expecting to see where the copilot taskbar icon is moved into the right hand side of the system tray in windows 10 uh, because Microsoft is rolling out uh, Copilot for the Windows 10 desktop as well, as I have been posting, and I'll leave a video I have posted on that down below if you'd like more info. And I actually think this is a nice change. Um, hopefully, though, they do give us an option to be able to place it in the system tray or on the actual taskbar. But nonetheless, I think that is a nice move, just clearing up the taskbar ever so slightly and moving that button to the right-hand side. Then something else uh, with Copilot is they are beginning to re-roll out, they say, the change previously um, documented with build 23570, which was an earlier uh, dev channel build, that introduces support for Copilot in Windows to be used across multiple monitors. So basically what you do is you simply press the Copilot button on the taskbar on whichever monitor you want Copilot to show, or you can also use the Win and C shortcut combination on your keyboard to show Copilot on the last monitor that it was visible on. So um, multi-monitor support now becoming more widely available in the dev channel for this week regarding Copilot. And the next um, two I'm just going to mention quickly. Uh, they've also made improvements to Windows Share. So if you signed in with a Microsoft Entra ID, in addition to being able to share to your Microsoft Teams, contacts you can also now share directly to specific microsoft teams channels and groups chats as well directly within the windows share window and then windows inc they are also expanding the ability to use digital handwrite handwriting inking in some edit boxes for windows inc to a whole lot of different locations and locales so uh, windows inc and windows share have received a couple of improvements this week and then for nearby sharing um, which, as many of you may know, can be found in the settings system and on the system page. They're beginning to roll out a change where you will be able to discover and share files with your Android devices in discoverable mode through Bluetooth under Nearby Share in the Windows Share window. And I think if that is a feature you do use, Nearby Sharing in Windows, that may be a nice move in the right direction. And they've also rolled out a bit of a UR tweak and adjustment to the task manager where they've improved process grouping in the processes page for task manager. So that's a bit of a UR adjustment for the uh, task manager. And then settings has got a bit of attention from Microsoft where um, they're also rolling out the account related notifications for Microsoft accounts on the settings home page. And then they've also added the system components which also in the stable version has been moved. So you don't find system components anymore um, under your installed apps, uh, your installed apps page. This has also now made its way into the dev channel for this week. You get that now. The system components are now, sh now shown on the system page as its own separate menu, uh, setting system, system components, and that's already rolled out as... Um, part of the stable version and a recent update that introduced that to the stable version. 
And then over and above those changes and improvements, uh, there's one fix for the desktop where they fixed an issue that was causing custom wallpapers to shift when switching desktops. And then we also get a known issue because obviously the dev channel is still pretty much early days in the inside program. So we can't always expect to have a couple of issues in those in the early development cycle of some features. But as mentioned, the big one, um, the Copilot icon has been moved to the right-hand side in the system tray, which I actually think uh, is a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.